It took a lot of hard work. But we finally completed it. And we are ready for our first globally broadcast battle royale. Welcome to the ultimate real life gaming arena. It's all the thrill of online shooters, but in the real world. Oh, shit. And you stand a chance of winning up to one. Hundred million dollars. Obviously, this is going to attract everyone, not just ex-soldiers. Guess who is going to the island? Oh, it's me! I can't wait. I'm gonna rip fucking heads off. Subscribe below and watch it all happen. This is like Hunger Games happening in real life. Pass the physical, and you stand a chance of winning in a battle. So fight to the death. Players must undergo surgery in order to play. They cut off your limbs, and they grow back by regen. And then they give you these cybernetic combat limbs. It's all about the cyber limbs. That's what makes this whole operation unique. Then they give you a load of guns and set you loose. <laughs> to go out and slaughter all your opponents. These people are just regular folks who have opted into total madness. How much worse is this going to get? They're now using paid mercenaries to act as the NPCs on the island. These, these guys will shoot you. And then they bring you back from the dead. They can literally resuscitate soldiers from death. Even extreme fatalities. They can regrow the patient from base tissue. Okay, well, this is our floating surgical ship. It's where we bring our fallen players. I got no arms. Check it out. I got no legs. We need to get them there as quickly as we can, and then within a couple of days, they're out playing again. As you can see, we've only walked away for a minute, and there is significant progress. I just think we need to raise the stakes more. Nah, it's good to go. It looks cool. Let's get it out on the island. We have story-driven missions in the middle of the Battle Royale. The fuck am I watching here? Are you really gonna say nothing in defense of this despicable island of depravity that you are personally responsible for? What the... Oh my god, am I going insane? What's going on in the world? I love this shit. Welcome to the world's first Real Battle Royale! You think you're tough? Sign up. Come on down to the island. Come test yourself for real. <laughs> Welcome to Teardrop. I am Master Sergeant Cobra. I have the unenviable task of guiding you regurgitated cum bubbles through your first real life battle royale. The game mode you're about to play is called Extraction Royale. This mode pits teams of three players against each other in a hybrid of battle royale and extraction shooter. All players must sign this indemnity. We'll be getting rid of your arms and legs. You get to choose your cyber loot. You could buy him, win him as loot, or shoot a player, take his arms and legs. Once you get on the ground, you'll want to quickly find supply crates scattered around Teardrop. Loot them and gear up quick as other teams could be around the corner. While you're trying not to die out there and embarrass yourself in front of your friends and family, you're going to want to find one of these. It's called a hex, and it's the most valuable thing on this whole godforsaken island. It can contain cyber limbs, guns, money, or skins. You can trade with this for real. You got to ship it off the fucking island before you get shot in the head. OTG Armory has the best guns on planet Earth. Do not try to sneak one back to the mainland and shoot up a bunch of people. If you die in battle and revival isn't an option, you will respawn after a countdown. 
This will happen for as long as a member of your team is still alive. If by some miracle you're still alive towards the end of the BR, we're getting bored watching you, we will activate a closing circle to restrict your battle area. You're going to want to avoid it, or you will know what it was like for witches to be burned alive. Yeah, they really did that. Lastly, do not go whining to any of the field marshals about the rules of engagement or he's violating my rights. This is not a contest where everybody gets a trophy. Most of you will go home to your friends and family as an urn full of embarrassment. The elite few will emerge as winners. Yes, good luck. Is that okay? I, oh, fuck this whole fucking job. Yeah, okay, whatever. Okay. All right, you recurgitated cum bubble. You ready for this? <laughs> <laughs> How's it look? Kind of cool. Uh, yeah. I like the I like the legs and arms type of thing. I'm yeah. I'm interested to see where we're going. So I get to build my character. Did yep. you have any? Uh... <laughs> you spent some time doing this last night, I know. So... Yeah, I just went with the basic, just brown coverings i mean i didn't do nothing fancy because i really don't have nothing yet so you actually earn clothing and arms and v vests and hats and masks and beards and hair and you earn all that shit in the fucking game or you find it on the ground too and like i said if you buy the otg pro you can whatever shit you find that's like epic you can sell on the marketplace it is like pretty fucking dope I was I could get hair yeah <laughs> <laughs> I put hair on mine too just cause I ain't got none aww we could have hair again nah I mean technically I do have hair but I just shave it <laughs> There's massive, massive, massive uh, bald spot for me. So yeah, I have like the normal like side receding hairline, but I'll never actually like lose my hair. Ah, uh, we can't we can't change color of our hair and stuff like that. Nope, not yet. What? Do they hate gingers? Yeah. Look, this is the first time I'm looking at your game here, guys. Do you hate gingers? Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, that bionic eye looks cool. Going back to that. Yeah, bionic eye. And make sure you go into your, um, like you'll press your start button once you're done with that part. And go in and change like your motion blur and all that shit. implants and kind of look at like the controller layout and leave it on number one it's the closest to what we're used to there is a custom but it's not available for the beta well how'd you dress uh i just got shorts uh brown shorts brown vest white shirt i am um it says i have a ball cap but i'm pretty sure I got rid of the ball cap. Apparently I didn't. I got white hair. Yeah, I went with blonde. I have the I have no eye eye glasses or anything on. I went with the robot eyes. Yeah, so did I. Uh scout tactical um, vest, sabotage vest, what'd you think? Um I went with the uh, the regular vest, uh, let me see what it's called. Um, the striker's vest. Once you get past that point, then you can actually look and see all the different vests and shit that are available right now. 
there will be more once the game comes out. And there's emotes. Right now, I, I can put a blue beard on if I want. I got a Javelina left arm, and I got a Skunk Paul right arm. Because there's these hex boxes that you can unlock. You start with like $10 of the in-game money, and it costs to unlock your hex boxes. But it's worth it to unlock your hex boxes because I've gotten some pretty badass weapons out of it. All right. I got a I got a sniper, I got two ARs, and then I got a battle rifle, and a helmet, a beard, a left arm, and a right arm. And you can always change your appearance too. Did you end up doing the uh, the feedback thing? Uh, yeah. And I already did the app and connected the app stuff too. Because <laughs> I figured maybe they'd add an extra hex box and stuff in there. And when I did it, I came back and I had an extra hex box. Do you, did you go through the Discord thing? Uh, yeah. No, I went, um, I did attach, I did go through the Discord thing, sorry. Um, I did add it, and go through that, and did the app as well. And to do the app, you have to go into your settings, um... I think it's hard to agree. Anyone need a ghost? I mean a Casper? Okay, I'm on the first entrance, so where would should we go? Play, load out. Sent you an invite. Well, I see like hexes. Yeah, loadout, um, you won't have nothing to put in at a loadout yet, so you need to go to your hexes. Okay. Oh, on. There's like a weapon 1.5.25. So they literally go by like um, 50 cents or whatever because it's kind of like a dollar value for the in-game money. So each box will cost you a little bit. Right now, I, after opening all my boxes and stuff, I'm sitting at $7.25. So. Where'd you open boxes at? Go to uh, L1, R1 will move you across your board to your, like, your loadouts, yeah. your hexes. Go okay. to your hexes. You decode you those? Yep, and you decode them, and it'll open up a bunch of shit for you. Okay. And there should be some for weapons, should be some for arms, should be some for, um, like, appearance. Uh, looks like I got an M4. Nice. I wish I would've got an M4. And an LMG. Nice. I got a sniper, a marksman, and two ARs. Like a FAMAS and then like a. I don't know what you really call that. RPK. Or I ain't RPK. a submachine gun. I got a Tacoma Avex. I wanted a fucking sub so bad. Alright, alright. So we're here. L2. Oh, look, there's more boxes. So limbs. Okay, I get yep. it now. It shows yeah, yeah. the. Yeah, you gotta like scroll over and do it all. L1, L L1 and L2, or R1, R2. Yeah. Oh, Phosphorus Fury. Uh, I got rare right arm. Nice. Wa I didn't get Want to no use rares. internally banned pro uh, projectiles without it being a warm crime. This arm launches rockets that stick to their targets, spitting out lethal spray of inhumane and deadly white phosphorus, burning armor targets, vehicles, 
Innocent civilians, the list is endless. Nice. What arm did you get? I got a the skunk paw and the javelina arm. I just got a skunk paw. All right. I don't. I think it shoots like radiation gas, is what it does. But like, as soon as you open up boxes and stuff, there's arms and legs that pop out, and guns and shields and and all that stuff. Oh, I just got a scorpion neck implant. Nice. Right. The FAMAS, it's called the Casper. That seems to be my better gun that I have. Oh, nice. I got a Patriot cap. I'm wearing that. I got a blue beard on my appearance one. <laughs> oh, and your um, delivery, uh, you go to do, you set up your class, like your loadouts. It literally tells you how much each thing cost. The only oh, thing that don't ever cost anything is the sidearm, unless you get an upgraded sidearm. But right now, my delivery cost for my loadout is four thousand fifty. Um, I didn't realize that there was face implants and then neck implants. Oh yeah, like uh, there's all kinds of shit, dude. But the one thing I'm seeing right now is even though I've gone in and selected the hat, uh, it's not taking off the new <laughs> banner and that bugs me. <laughs> yeah, probably. Oh, like I, I said, out. it is beta right now, so. No, that's okay, I had to go out of appearance, it was me. Yeah, oh. Okay, so inventory, we're in here in inventory, so. Oh, it doesn't scroll. Once you hit the far side, you can't go back around to the other side. Yeah, and they may fix that with the game. I don't know. Oh, here's the marketplace. I see it now. Ooh, nice. Yeah. I'm sure that Ripper is going to be awesome. Yeah, the Ripper arms. Okay, so I got through hexes, got inventory, now loadout. So loadout one... And it tells me how much it's going to cost by while we build it. Okay. Yeah, um, basically your loadout, it'll say right on the front, like, what it costs to, to buy it in-game when we're playing. It's like, all right, delivery cost for this loadout is going to be 4050 Okay, so I need to make sure I need to save up 4050 to be able to get my loadout. Now, I can just run around with the shit I find on the ground and not worry about a loadout, but if I ever need and want my loadout. Well, I ended up getting a, a rare um, or an epic um, grid shield backpack. I see now here that the, once you select the weapon, so I have the, the Commodore, um, and it's the Commodore family, so that tells me I should be able to move over to my subs or light machine gun. Yep. And then, based on the level that you get... Oh, I didn't even get uh, a rarity level. Mine's a, a pre-made one. So, it already has three attachments on it, it looks like. Does that make sense? Oh, sorry, I was muted. Um, yeah, um, when you open the hex boxes, sometimes you'll get just a naked gun. And then sometimes you'll get guns with full attachments. Oh, this is... So you have to get left and right arms. You just don't get yeah. an arm. And see, when you get legs, you get both legs. Okay. So. so this way it gives you... I guess it's basically giving you two different types of tacticals. Yes, right? yes. And that that's basically your tactical is your arms. Whatever arms you pick up. Well, I got a right... Two rights, so... I ended up getting a left and a right. So I was like, alright, well that's alright. I got the skunk, a skunk paw and the javelina, which is like mini rockets that stick to people. Well, since you got the skunk paw, I'm going to bring in the uh, phosphorus one. 
since it's okay. the one different than what you have. Oh, that I bet you that's like thermites. Yeah. Ooh, and then there's also an armor kit. Yeah. For consumable and what else? And then backpack. Okay. Yep. Now, backpack wise, did you get one or did you select one? I think I just selected one, and I picked the grill grid shield backpack. The epic. Yeah. Well, I mean, simple backpack. What, just a regular backpack for lugging around gear? Additional three inventory slots. Four, five. Oh, there's other. <coughs> I'm going to go with the best one, even though it's the most expensive. What did Which you do? Our, is the gridiron one. So what do you want plates wise? What do you think we should do? Like three? Or one? Yeah, you know, I don't know. I'm gonna go full kit just to see what we can do. I guess three. Okay, now I know I have. It only this bumped one. it up a hundred. Okay, so you so. have to equip and modify to add like a sight and stuff. See, I'm not sure about that. I don't know how the weapons are built yet. I'm looking at it right now. You you go in and you have to tell it that you wanna change it but you have to have parts because none of these guns like there's nothing available yet for me anyway yeah so so you go on like the commodore this is my or your primary i selected it and then i selected the level i think it was no i'm not on the right one commodore rare Yeah, once you scroll over, once you have the Commodore selected, bottom right says equip and modify. So you can modify it with square. Now what's the Commodore? That's an EDM4. So you got the Casper, I see that family there. I don't have that one on lock, so. I don't even see the Commodore anywhere. Go to assault rifles, second one over, or th uh, fourth one over, second one from the Casper class. Oh, okay, I see it. Now, see, I got the Casper and I got the Tarikin. Okay. It was my two ARs I got, and then I ended up getting a, um, I guess it's a marksman rifle, which is the Inshinia one. Is the one I got. And then I ended up getting a sniper, which is the... Did you happen to go into the tryout range? Where you go to that? Uh, when you're in what? your loadout, you can go try out your... I'm going to try out the arms first. Entering uh, carrier, and you can try out select loadouts and stuff. It's... I see that. Holy shit. Okay. I have custom one loadout. There's also presets in here. You have to go up and select custom... Oh, there's dummies, like, moving around in this room, so you can, like, walk and... Yep, R3. Ugh. Um, toggle inventory accept, switch primary weapons. Okay. Oh, there's arms that make you go invisible. <laughs> Whoa. Dude, this is gonna be dope. It is kind of third person, isn't it? Oh, yeah, ping is R3. Is. So used to that being melee. Alright. Squares reload. Triangle switch. I see what you mean by we get three guns, so we get the two primaries and then a pistol no matter what. Yeah. Facepalm epic fail executed. <laughs> Facepalm executed. Oh, it's still burning him? 
with the thermite, it, it burns through the plates and stuff with the fl fire that it leaves, or the phosphorus. I just watched, I heard a dummy getting damaged. Oh, you have to double tap to switch the pistol. Double tap triangle. And it shows you how much damage uh, with the plates going down and stuff. So what your shots actually are doing. Mine's not showing damage. Yeah, mine is when I was shooting it with the pistol. Wait, interact. Come here. Oh, it's a zip line. Okay. There's a second story to this. I went to the arms one. Yeah, I did too. I didn't even check out the other. I haven't checked out the other one yet, but. And then I love can... the fucking L1 R1 together. Oh, hold down your uh, center pad Ugh. if you want to. Uh, oh, switch change loadout. The loadout. Yeah. Oh, that's a sniper! Holy shit, that thing. Ooh, that's a <gasps> one shotter. What the? All right, I need to slow down. My... Alright. Hey, hold on. You, uh, I don't know if this works on all of them, but try pushing down on one of your weapons and it might change, uh, your ammo selection. This, uh, Tacoma has two different types of, uh, shooting. The Tacoma? Yeah, it has three round burst and it has full auto. Oh, How and do you, you do that? Uh, hit down, and I just shot off a cyber arm off of one of the bots, and it said detected, but I don't know where to use it. Well, my gun is a burst or a single fire. Oh, wait, the, you take the arm off. All right. Yeah. By the way, if you lose your arm, you have to go find an arm. All right, dropped an arm. Gotcha. Okay. So shooting the shoulder is actually a good tactic in here. Yep, and then you can go to a common arm and pick it up. Okay, that's cool. What about legs? Can you shoot those off. Oh, okay, so down just switches between gun modes, if, uh, fire rate, so you have single or full. Yeah. Or, or, or like your burst, or... Yeah. Headshot with a pistol close was pretty nice. Yeah. Zip line. And the fucking snipers are no joke. Let's check this area out. Hmm. Have you figured out a melee yet? No. Oh, uh, hold left on your uh, D-pad, and it goes between some type of shot or plates. Enemy down. Yeah, there is no melee. Let's move there. R three is ping. What about grapple and stuff like that? Can you? I don't see like grapple yet on like walls or. It looks like you just kind of do it. Oh! That was cool. Hold, hold X when you jump in the air. They don't do nothing. I have my loadout on. Yeah. Oh. There's, there should be a jetpack. I think that's only when you jump off of stuff. No, I was in the stairs, and uh, it said activate jump pack, but I got high enough that I was able to. Yeah, see, if you jump off of stuff, you can do the jetpack. To, like, just jump off the ledge, you, you can do your jetpack. Okay. I have a feeling this is going to be more of a game for my son. <laughs> yeah. He's going he's gonna to destroy people in this. 
it kind of looks like Fortnite a little bit more than well, what we used to. Well, I hate the you gotta uh, the jump when you jump the jetpack. It's inverted. I don't like that. We can probably change that setting. I can't get high enough now to get it to activate again. Yeah, there just it is. Just go to inverted. the sec second floor and then jump off just one of the ledges. I was trying to go up to the third floor. I don't have a third floor. Mm -mm. Look up. It's. I didn't think I did either, and it kind of showed up. What the fuck? Jumped off of it. All right. Okay, that's cool. I uh, figured it out. I don't understand what this is. We're gonna give this a whirl. I guess nothing. How do you plate? And I like that it already has the shields on the dummies. Hey, don't call them that. They're inanimate, inanimate humans. <laughs> All right. I've goofed in here enough. Yeah. Um, how do you leave? <laughs> good question. That's a good question. Let's move there. Oh, you can change shoulders? I don't know how I did it, but apparently I did it. Like, you switch arms that you can shoot out of? What did I do? Yeah, push up and it switches the shoulders you shoot across. Oh, I'm gonna like that. Better, so if you're left, you might prefer the left shoulder. Yeah, I know you're left eye dominant, so... Well, it just, to me, it's, it, I don't know. Well, I mean, it's left eye dominant. It gives you more screen to look at. Did you figure out how to get out of here? No. <laughs> Let's check this area out. I hit start. Let's I mean, see. I... switch primary weapons, toggle inventory, accept or back. Okay. So I hit the pad. Press and hold the pad. Let's check this area out. Yeah, it can change loadout in that screen. Yeah. Um... And left on the D-pad is to put your armor on. What do you mean? I, I could use a plate and I can't put a plate on. Maybe just because I have one left? I don't know. Nope, hit the wrong button. <gasps> you, just, armor plates at maximum supply. you just push it, tap it. Okay, there you go. What? Uh, I, you just tap it. I was holding it too much. Tap it to what? To plate up. Oh, I got the ghost arm. You got 30 seconds of being invisible. Yeah. Let's check this area out. All right, that's gonna have to get used to no melee. I'm gonna be pinging stuff randomly. All right. <laughs> yeah, me too. Oh, a little jealous you got that tech around, or whatever it's called. I know I got it wrong. The what? Whatever that gun was that you said. How the fuck do we get out of here? There's got to be a way. Do we just go out a door or something? Oh. Ooh, legs. Leaper. <gasps> That's cool. What? 
So if you get the leaper legs, it like gives you like a jet boost or something with L1 and R1. Huh. Left arm does. I'm still trying to figure out how to get out of here. Oh, it's a drone that shoots things. Yeah, there is a drone one too. I've seen that. How the fuck do you get out of here? Are we gonna have to like reset the game to fucking get out of here? There's a basement. There's a garage. And you know your L1 R1, if you press and hold it, it actually like locks on the Gas lasts a long fucking time too. Yeah, this this uh drone is going crazy. All right, so it looks like this is uh we're gonna have to close it to get back out of here. I guess. I can't find anything else that would make. I'm just gonna close it for now. All right. <sighs> I guess I'll... You need to go through your controller settings real quick. Yeah, See, I can't even video? get to those in here. Yeah. Toggle inventory. Oh, you can switch primary weapons if you want your... whichever one you want first. Yeah. Alright, well.